Welcome back to the block breaking server. I am Patat Potter with another episode. I think episode 6? Well, I'm back here at my mega base location that I showed to you two episodes ago. And we are going to create a lovely dinosaur sanctuary down in that valley, like I said in the last episode. So first thing is first, we need to go mining down there to make some space for our dinosaurs because they're not very really small animals you know and we are going to do it with this bad boy right here in my hand so let me just put on my pitiful armor and then let's get going to the mine what is that dude doing right behind how did he get there So I'm going to go to the opposite of this stretch here because I found this nice opening I can create into a beautiful entrance to the cave. And I was thinking of blowing up this area a little bit more to open it up for our big little friends that's coming in here. So I'm going to place down a line of TNT in this tunnel and then blow it up and see what it looks like at the end and then maybe and mine out a nice cave for the dinosaurs. After blowing up my strip of TNT, I found something incredible and I am so very, very excited for this because this is changing my whole mega base idea. So let me show you. I found a cave. Like you saw in the replay mod. It's quite a big one. Let's just go and check quickly if I can see it in first person how it actually looks because I just had a, a quick peek in there and I just saw a creeper so I didn't really look any further and I don't have any Ooh. oh he saw me oh shoot and I don't have any water on me shoot why did I do that why did I do that no shoot okay let's go back Okay, well I'm back, just quickly picking up the stuff before anything else spawns. But what I actually wanted to show is how big the cave is. I only had a glance at it and it looked gigantic. And I think actually this is going to be the perfect place for our dinosaur sanctuary. You can't see much in the darkness, but I can see that it goes back very, very far. Oh, there's a chain. <gasps> There's chains, that means there's a dungeon. Not a dungeon, a, a, a what do you call it? A mine shaft. A, a hanging mine shaft. That is, that is awesome. Okay. I think the next thing that we are going to do, we're going to get some of the block breaking members to help me light up this cave and actually get to, to see how big this place actually is. But before we can do that, I need to make a proper staircase into this place. Because we can't have people trying to jump down here, especially those with no light drop. Like, like me, like you can see. Oh, I didn't have my arm on. But yeah, no. So I think we are going to make a staircase, if you can follow my head, there. But let me just go back up and I'll show you what I actually mean. So I am in the middle of our little cave indent here you can see there's my tent right over there it's peeking through and then this is the beautiful view you get from up there and then we're going down here and in that hole there is where i just mined you can't see it it's underneath this like in, in there so my idea is to make a staircase coming from there all the way to there because i want people to see this beautiful view and to be able to do that, this piece of mountain I'm standing on right now is in the way. It's blocking the view. And if I make a staircase here, no one's going to really see how it looks. So I'm going to dig away this piece of mountain and then make a staircase running down the side here all the way down there. So let's jump into a time lapse and get digging.
and that took me two hours. You wonder why it took me so long to, to dug away that little bit of mountain? Because I only use iron tools. I'm way too much of a reckless minecrafter to own anything fancy. Anywho, next step is getting some spruce to build our rickety, falling apart, forgotten staircase that looks like it needs to be in a mine shaft or oh, I'm just I'm I'm falling over my words here. Let's just jump into it and see how it turns out. So the way I built this staircase is by placing down all the spruce slabs first just to try and figure out where the staircase is going and how it is forming to the mountain and down into that little cave in the bottom. And after that I dug out little spots here and there and replaced it with various stuff like campfires that I um, I want to say spoon out, uh, shovel out so the, the fire goes away and then I also add in some spruce trapdoors and mangrove roots and oh regular regular logs, strip spruce logs also work nicely so I just speckled that in everywhere and then I went to the bottom and I added some pillars, some rickety pillars that seem like it is barely stable. It will barely keep the, the, the weight of the people walking over the staircase in place. So this is what I'm doing now. And it's done. Well, for now, I might make some new, more changes as I go along. Whoa, I almost fell off there. Alright, so... The whole idea is to make it look like some settlers a couple of years back has settled here, tried to go into the mines, built themselves a staircase here, and this is what is left. It is... Oh, I need to fix that. This is what is left, and it hasn't been used in a very, very long time. So you can see right behind me is the cave entrance. We're going to blow all of that up and make a nice looking entrance. That is going up, so it's just a different route. And let me just face because other face around, otherwise I'm going to fall down here. So you can see I speckled in some stuff. I'm probably gonna still speckle in some little bit more stuff just to make it more rickety looking. Oh, we've got a visitor down here. Talking of rickety, if you have watched till this point, please go into the comments and type in old forgotten rickety staircase. Then I know you have watched till this point. It's a little experiment I see other YouTubers have used before and I thought why not try it as well. Now let's get back to me mining for hours with iron tools. I am back here at the bottom of the staircase starting to clear out our cave entrance. At the moment it's half a cavern leading into the next cave and then it's our TNT tunnel and this just really does not work as a very nice cave entrance at all. So I'm doing what I do best and that's exhausting my iron tools and digging away and blasting TNT where I can and try to open up this area a little bit more. I'm still not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this entrance, maybe a lush cave or I might just build a bunch of settlement type of buildings here that will fit the staircase, I do not know. So if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, please leave them in the comments and I will go through them and make a decision on what to do next for the next episode. Or whenever I get back to making this cave look nice. Now for the most important task of this episode and that is to put a discord message out on the block breaking server discord page asking who wants to come and help me light up my cave. And while I'm waiting for answers, I'm going to start prepping some torches that I need to give each of the block breakers to, to light up the cave. And while waiting for that, I'm going to start collecting cacti and smelting them up because I need green dye for a nice little banner that I'm going to make for our dinosaur sanctuary. And Yes, in this replay mod clip, I'm using myself as a human hopper in the cacti farm. You, you are seeing correctly. Okay, let's see if I can remember this pattern correctly. I tried to memorize it. So it is the green cross. Then it is this one. Green chevron. Okay, I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of these stuff correctly. 
then we need to switch it out oh I forgot to get the flower banner let me just get that quickly there it is oh I can zoom with my scroll button that's pretty cool I want you just chop you off I need a bit of paper I think this is enough to make our banner yes paper and we put the flower next to it and we get the flower charge and that is exactly what I need okay let's just pop this back in was that banner with the flower charge and the white dye yes that's the one I'm looking for now just switching out the green dye for the exact same pattern put that in put white back in take that out and then it this one what do you call it inverted chevron you put that back in and then this dude you are the Bordua indented okay that's a weird name anyway this is our lovely banner i found this on google but it's plastered all over the internet so i do not know who to reference this to who designed this um if you squint it it looks like a dragon but from in our case it is a dinosaur so just just squint and then you, you can see the dinosaur with his eyes and ears or horns or whatever you want to see anyway this is our banner now let's just go put it somewhere here when the block breakers come down they can see our proud banner let's put one here here maybe here 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 and here oh, got one left and here claiming the cave we did quite a lot in this episode we started out by digging out the side face of a mountain, building in a staircase, carving out a little bit of our cave entrance and designing a banner for our dinosaur sanctuary. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking and remember those two comments I asked you guys to leave. Please don't forget about them. They, they, they mean quite a lot to me. And if you want to see the well probably not all the block breakers but some of the block breakers coming together helping me lighting up the cave stick around for the next episode i don't even know how many is going to pitch up because it hasn't happened yet when when recording this so i am just as excited as you are probably more but yeah don't forget about it and i'll see you in the next episode cheers dudes